On Acoustic Tuesday, episode number 49, you're gonna get the full rundown from the inaugural Acoustic Life Festival, including candid pictures, behind the scenes video, and a full report on how much was donated to Guitars for Vets as a result of the festival. Plus, you're gonna learn where to go to get the full, complete behind the scenes scoop on the festival. All that and more right after this. If you believe that playing acoustic guitar is about sharing the joy of music with friends and family, not just mastering the technical side of playing, then this show is your dream come true. Every Tuesday morning, I give you my list of exciting guitar geek discoveries, gear, and new music so you can stay inspired to live your best acoustic life. I'm Tony Castro, and this is the Acoustic Tuesday Show. Guitar geeks, unite. Welcome to Acoustic Tuesday, episode number 49. This is a show where you're gonna learn about acoustic guitar gear, discover acoustic artists, and get inspired to live your very best and very boldest acoustic life. As with all episodes of Acoustic Tuesday, I'm gonna share with you my guitar geek list for the week. But this episode's gonna be a little different. It's gonna be special because the entire episode is dedicated to a celebration of the Acoustic Life Festival, the inaugural Acoustic Life Festival that was held in Bozeman June 22nd and 23rd of 2018. This is gonna be a, an amazing special episode, a special episode, if you will. But before I dive into all the celebration, we've gotta take care of some Acoustic Tuesday tradition, which is Guitar Geek Trivia. Here is your Guitar Geek Trivia question for the day. 2018 was the inaugural year for the Acoustic Life Festival. All of the proceeds from the festival were donated to the nonprofit organization Guitars for Vets. How much was donated on behalf of all the attendees at the Acoustic Life Festival 2018? Was it A, $1,672.43? B, $4,634.78, C, $6,056.21, or D, $10,234.73. Go ahead and ponder that, and at the end of the show, I will be sure to give you the answer. I want you to pull up a chair, pour yourself your favorite beverage, and maybe light a candle and jam it in a cupcake, because you know what? We've got some celebrating to do. There's a special celebration in order because the Acoustic Life Festival was absolutely Amazing, 100% amazing. And of course, here to uh, vet all my facts and make sure I'm telling the truth about the Acoustic Life Festival is none other than Cool si Cool Shades, Noah Jacob Heckman Jr., the first. Noah, <laughs> how are you doing today? I am doing super cool, Tony. <laughs> yeah, you look super cool. Well, thank you. I am wearing the shades because the Acoustic Life Festival was so cool. It was. And <laughs> for some reason, I, I put together sunglasses and being cool. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Noah is the embodiment of the cool emoji that we all use on our phones. And it's funny, whenever I try and change your name to something different, I always screw it up. I am so programmed to say Sir Noah Jacob Heckman Jr. the first. When I say Noah Cool Shades Heckman, it just comes out wrong. That's okay. Because <laughs> I, I, I know what you meant. And it's good to show that we all have chinks in our armor sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of chinks in this armor. There's there's quite a few. In fact, I don't even have armor. That's That was from when I was back at the round table. Anyways, let's dive into the Acoustic Life Festival because we've got a lot to discuss today. In fact, you're going to want to stick around to the end of this episode because I've got a very special announcement that I think you're going to be amazed uh, because you're, you're a part of it. Uh, uh, because you, of course, watch the Acoustic Tuesday show. But very first off, one of the things that made the Acoustic Life Festival so special were the artists that uh, uh, came and played and shared their talents with us. Um, we were we were so uh, we were really lucky to be joined on Friday night by Caitlin Canty, one of my favorite singer songwriters, and then after her, uh, Rob Ikes and Trey Hensley performed. Now, Caitlin, I've looked up to for a long time. I just think her her songwriting is is really amazing. Um, Rob Ikes has been a dobro hero of mine for a long time, and Trey Hensley is an absolutely stunningly amazing flat picker. So it was a night full of amazing music. And in fact, I've got some great behind the scenes video, uh, just a, a kind of a review video so you can see what happened if you weren't in attendance. And of course, if you were in attendance, you can then uh, relive those memories. So let's have a look at that video. But when everybody returned from dinner, everybody pours into the Rialto. They're meeting each other, they're talking about guitar stuff before the show starts, and then the show starts. The room's completely silent. Caitlin, Caitlin put on probably the most mesmerizing performance I've ever seen.
Dewdrop Silent. Amazing. She loved playing here. She wants to come back to Bozeman pretty much as much as she can. Um, and then Rob and Trey came out and just pretty much lit the place on fire. that occurred was I can't even comprehend it and everybody left with their jaws on the floor but most importantly super inspired because they got to see a show with all their guitar geek friends and then they went and jammed pretty much all night and that was just Friday night Saturday night had held a whole a whole a different musical gift for us Antoine DeFore uh, opened up the evening and then followed by him was Carol Luft from the Small Glories and they put on together they just put on an incredible show it was just it was such a different vibe from the previous night it was just it was the whole weekend was like an acoustic tour day force and you'll see what I mean because I actually have video from uh, the second night Saturday night Saturday night as well so you can check that out let's have a look everybody everybody broke for dinner and then came back for just a wonderful evening of shows really truly amazing acoustic artistry Antoine Dufour opened everything up and his his playing was amazing and you could just see the appreciation of the audience was a treat to listen to, super entertaining, funny. And swaying their arms and singing along, and the chorus, they had these big smiles on their, their, their faces, and the chorus says, you're no friend of mine, and I wanted to stop and yell at them and say, this is not a happy song! <laughs> Why are you dancing? So if you want to dance and sing along, this is for all those people in your life that you're spending time with who you shouldn't be spending time with. So that was a nice glimpse into the musical tour that we went on throughout the entire weekend. And I just, uh, countless, countless folks from the festival uh, uh, contacted me and just said how, how awesome the music was. So it was just, it was really enjoyed by everyone. It was such diverse musical offering. And even the artists themselves were so pleased to be a part of the festival. Uh, every single artist uh, uh, separately came up to me and, and, and told me how much they enjoyed playing Bozeman, told me how much they enjoyed the crowd. I mean, to play to a room full of guitar geeks is, is a very unique opportunity, and each of the artists recognized that. So it was really just outstanding for everyone involved. And uh, Noah, I wanted to ask you, because uh, you, of course, were in attendance, uh, what, uh, of the four acts, did you have a favorite, or was it a... Was it a, a did you like all of them? What, what was your take on it? Well, Tony, I'm glad you asked. I, first of all, I liked all of them. They're, yeah, how could you not? I mean, just the, the diversity of players. Yeah. Um, and the talent to go with it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you may not dig a style, but you've got to appreciate the talent, the songwriting. Um, everything was awesome. Yeah. However, one did stick out to me, and I will say I think it was... Uh, Antoine's performance. Yeah, that one that one stuck out to me. I mean, to to have the the bluegrass and the folk, and then to I think he was the the most diverse. Yeah, yeah. And just I was just blown away. He was mesmerizing to watch, and he was super fun to talk to. Being out of you know Quebec, yeah. Canada, <laughs> and I can't. I probably just pestered him to death, asking him, "Hey, Antoine, how do you say this? Yeah. Hey, say <laughs> say Tony. How would you say Tony?" Denis, or Denis. something like that. Yeah. Denis. Denis. Yeah. Noé. <laughs> Lévy. So that was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with, with Antoine's set. And, but yeah. everybody was just 
Absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's pretty outstanding. It was cool to see so many different artists be on the same stage for the same festival and just again play for Guitar Geek. So so again, thank you to the to the artists that that made time out of their schedule to come to Bozeman. It was really a treat for all of us. So so thank you very much. And uh, of course, uh, as as is Acoustic Tuesday tradition, I do have to check the mailbag, and it was pretty. Uh, um, I thought very appropriate the mail that I received this week. I received um, some beard balm. Mm-hmm. That is of the Canadian maple scent, mm, right? Made by the company uh, Splendid Bastard, which I was cracking up immediately. And it came from my guitar geek friends Guy and Mo in Saskatchewan. He said, "Hey Tony, a small gift from your friends Mo and Guy up in Saskatchewan. We had a great time at the Acoustic Life Festival, and it was great to meet so many guitar geeks. I hope you can find a use for this." Guy and Mo. So I want to thank Guy and Mo for sending that on over. Had a treat chatting with them throughout the weekend. I uh, actually saw them at breakfast a couple times and uh, just just chatted hockey, chatted guitars. Uh, so they were a treat to meet and um, just pretty awesome. Now, Noah, I would share this with both you and Levi, but I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that could really get full use out of it. Well, Levi has done the beard lately, so I think he might could use some. He could, um, maybe. He's yeah, sensitive, though. He's sensitive to smells. <laughs> That's true. Uh, but yeah, I would agree. Definitely not me at this point, but that's okay. okay. I can I can still smell. I can smell it on you. Okay, cool. Neat. <laughs> also in the mailbag, I, I don't know if this is an official mailbag item, but Joe and Don R. from Helena here in Montana brought the official logo to the Acoustic Life Festival because if you take the letters acoustic, A, life, L, festival, F, you get ALF. And uh, uh, what a what a fitting mascot! They actually crafted Alf, gave him gave him a guitar, made a shirt for him. I mean, pretty awesome. He 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 made the weekend for sure. He tied the whole room together, if you will. Now, um, no, I know that uh, also Acoustic Tuesday tradition is that you you should feature some comments and shoutouts, and you've got kind of a special batch of comments, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? Yes, I do, uh, Tony. Given that this is a special sode. Um, where we are celebrating the inaugural Acoustic Life Festival. Uh, today's uh, comments are mainly are going to come from those who actually attended the festival. Awesome. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun to share. Shout outs. Um, we'll start with those. These are just folks who continue to tune in to Acoustic Tuesday awesome. every week. And so shout out goes to Yon and Rem Chan, 0138, Caleb, Ron, Dan, James, GW, Viking Padre, Cheryl, Yay Guitar, Douglas, uh, Plucker, Pick, Stephen, and Arnold, and of course, many others tune in regularly. Awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. So now on to the special comments uh, that come from folks who attended the Acoustic Life Festival. And I'm also kind of combining these with our small wins. Okay, because awesome. Because w- as you will hear their comments, I-, I think you can, there's definitely some small wins in there. Cool. And I did not plan this. This just to shows how in sync we end up being. <laughs> Two of the comments I pulled come from... Joe, Rig, you know, or Joe, oh, oh, yeah, 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 from Helena, who gave the Alf mascot, yeah. <laughs> and from Mo. Oh, no kidding! Yeah, <laughs> cool. um, so it's kind of cool. That, yeah, that's that, awesome. That worked out. So first comment comes from Joe. Uh, those out of Helena. After the Alf experience and meeting so many of you guys, my dear hubby has decided to at least try the guitar. I want y'all to know that this is your doing, not mine, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart, Joe. (laughs) That's awesome. Well, cheers, and best of luck on the the new guitar journey. That's outstanding. All right, next next one comes from Guy. says, hi, all. Mo and I are still on the road back to Canada. We both had such a great time at ALF. It's about guitar. It's about music. But without a doubt, it's mostly about an amazing community of people. We immediately felt welcome and that we already knew many of the people. Such a great pleasure to meet so many of you who have provided some great inspiration and advice. I could I could go on, but just want to express how glad we both are that we've participated in such a positive, fun event. Tack truly rocks. Guys. Awesome. Well, that's so cool. It was it was it's so cool because now I know the, I, like I know these people. Like we shook hands, we hugged, we hung out. It was awesome. Y- yes. Yeah, they're not just this little bitty, like, profile picture. Right? Yeah, exa- like, you're exactly. You're so much bigger in real life. <laughs> and uh, the last one, uh, Tony, today comes from another Tony. This All comes right. from Tony S. And he says, It was truly one of the best weekends I've ever spent. 
and I cannot possibly put into words how amazing it was to meet and hang out with my tack guitar heroes, including uh, Tony, Noah, and Levi. Oh, shucks. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, I wish we could have spent more time together, uh, but understand that I'm sure you guys are pretty busy taking care of the whole thing and taking care of all of us. Anyway, thanks again. Uh, what a life-changing event. Tony awesome. S. That's so cool. So there's uh, there's our shout-outs and our, our comments from those who physically attended and were here at the Acoustic Life Festival. Awesome. I, I love this idea of the special sode. Yeah. No, I, we were talking about this before we, we started the cameras today, and I was like, is it a special sode or is it a special sode? Yeah. Or is it a special episode? Right. I, well, please, if you wouldn't mind uh, commenting below and letting us know what you think about the special episode. Would you like to see an Acoustic Tuesday dedicated to just one topic, much as we're doing today? Uh, we've got some plans in the works. We do have an anniversary coming up, so there'll be another special episode coming up, but I want to hear from you. So in the comments below, let us know. Uh, let us know what you think about the special episode and if you have any ideas for topics. And of course, while you're commenting, letting us know where you're coming from, celebrating your small win. Again, don't forget to do that. Hashtag small win and go ahead and describe it in the comments. Uh, please, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Subscribe to the Acoustic Life YouTube channel. It's super easy. Hit that red subscribe button and then don't forget to hit that little gray bell so you get a notification of every new video that gets released. And of course, if you want Acoustic Tuesday delivered directly to your email, that's super easy and free, and lots of folks are doing that as well. Just click the link in the description, and uh, you can get Acoustic Tuesday delivered directly to your email. You won't even have to search for it anywhere. So moving on, uh, Noah, one of the things that was amazing, I think Tony S.'s comment really kind of uh, uh, brought attention to this, was the transformational aspect yes. of the festival. I mean, it was, it was truly... Um, you know, you get to this festival and you're not quite sure how it's going to be. And there's this over, overall sense of kind of like, we're all here, we're all guitar geeks, but there's just this underlying anxiety as there is with anything. Think of it as like when you started school or something like that. But it's so cool as the weekend progresses, you see this group that was kind of friends when they started, all of a sudden becomes almost like family at the end of the weekend. It's it's truly amazing, and we've got some great updates. In fact, none other than uh, Sir Noah Jacob Heckman Jr., the first Cool Shades Noah Heckman, uh, went ahead and did our first update on the very first day. So let's actually hear from Noah at the Acoustic Life Festival. Hey fellow guitar geeks, Noah here. Um, today is day one of the Acoustic Life Festival that we've just been gearing up for and so excited for. Uh, right now behind me, we have in a room uh, with Tony, over 60 people all holding guitars and playing at the same time. Um, we have an open mic later on coming up. We've got some killer shows coming on later this evening. Uh, there's a lot of guitar geekiness here going on in this place right now. Just want to give you guys a quick uh, update and kind of sneak peek into what's going on. So good to hear from Noah, Guitar Geek News Anchor Heckman there in that segment. Uh, pretty awesome. Noah, how do you, how do you like listening to your uh, past self? Is that, is, that a, is that a strange experience? Does that bring back fond memories? It definitely brings back fond memories. <laughs> Um, I think like most of us, we can't help, but whenever we see ourselves, all we can think about is, oh my gosh, do I look like that? Do I sound like that? Um, but yes, I was, it, we were, Levi and I were in a place where you really were behind us in the room. Yeah. And so I was trying to be like aware, like I didn't want to be too loud, didn't want to make sure. So, but yeah, it, it brought back some very fond memories and the whole entire weekend was Awesome. It was so much fun. Awesome. Well, one of the things that I thought was really amazing, and as I mentioned, it was really, uh, truly uh, a trans transformational experience for, for everyone that was involved, uh, myself included. I mean, I taught a bunch of workshops, uh, all of the attendees that were there. I mean, you guys are what made the festival so incredibly special. So I, I want to just take a second and thank all of uh, everybody that came to the Acoustic Life Festival in person and uh, just really 
I showed up with a great attitude wanting to hang with guitar geeks, learn and grow as both a guitar geek and as, as a human being. It was amazing. So really a true heartfelt thank you from uh, Levi, Noah, and myself for coming to Bozeman and, and just, uh, just being here and celebrating guitar geekiness uh, with us. And one of the things that I thought was just uh, inspirational and, and I, I look back on, on it with just the fondest of memories was, was both nights of the open mic, or both afternoons I should say. So right before dinner there was a two hour slot on each day where anybody could come up and play open mic. And I gotta tell you, you'll be seeing pictures here, there, there were so many people, so many different people that got up and played open mic. And so many, I mean, people from, folks that, that literally had not planned on playing an open mic prior to coming to the festival and actually did for the first time at the festival. Folks that have wanted to play open mic for a long time, it's been on their bucket list and they never had a chance to do it and now they did. Folks that were friends already before the festival and then they went up and played, you know, they played like duo things and everything. It was, it was really, uh, it was so cool to see and one of the things that was equally cool were the folks that were watching, okay? And, and I say this because it takes a ton of courage to get up and play an open mic. You're there alone playing, singing, uh, just in front of everybody to see. And the crowd was so supportive, so engaged, and everybody just wanted to see everybody succeed and try it. And, you know, and it didn't matter if you played anything perfectly, it just mattered that you went up and did it and you were sharing that moment with all your Guitar Geek friends. It was so cool to see not only the performer's reaction to the crowd, but the crowd's reaction to the performers. I mean, when you go think of it like if you just go to your normal neighborhood pub for an open mic, you're likely not gonna know everybody at the open mic unless you're around in the community a whole bunch. This was very different in that we were all guitar geeks and we were all there together and we all at this point of the, the weekend knew everybody. So it was so, it was, it was a really cool experience and one that I thought was uh, easily one of the, one of the highlights of the weekend. And then, and then underlying all of this, I, I got to tell you, so there's a, there's a, um, a underlying project that goes throughout the weekend and that is a band performance. So the entire group of attendees is divided into smaller groups, bands, and then on the final day, Saturday, they actually get up on the main stage with lights, with microphones, and actually play a song of their choosing in front of all their Guitar Geek friends on the main stage. Like, it's so cool, and I can't describe it well, so that's why Levi was running around shooting video. In fact, we've got some great video of some of the band performances and just kind of the overall vibe so you can see what it was like. When they came back from lunch, they went ahead and performed on the main stage. I'm talking the main stage, like the killer stage with an amazing sound system. All the bands got up and all the bands played individually. That They named their bands. I'm talking full lights, microphones through the big sound system and you could just tell how amazing it was for everybody involved. Amazing in terms of they literally had a transformation before their friends' eyes. All the guitar geeks in the audience were watching their friends play on a huge stage and everybody was so supportive and encouraging. Pretty amazing to see that. Now, that's just a, a, a glimpse into a, 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 a couple of the performances and just seeing those bands on stage, seeing the high fives, the hugs, the fist bumps, the, the guitar geek shout outs. I mean, it was just, it was so cool to see everybody in such a state of guitar geekiness. I don't know if that's a, if that's a thing, but it, it seems like it should be a thing. And, and, and that video certainly reveals that. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, okay, that's, there's a lot going on here. You got artists, workshops, bands, you know, and there's just the three of us, Levi, Noah, and myself, kind of trying to, to manage everything. But don't worry, there was plenty of fun had. In fact, we had a special guest who you'll see here, here in a second. Uh, Matt C. from Eddie's Guitars in St. Louis came out to the Acoustic Life Festival to be a part of the festivities and just be a guitar geek with us all. And uh, you'll, see, you'll see how much fun we actually had. You'll see a picture of us, a very nice looking classy gentleman. And then next, we were prompted to make a squirrel pose, which you'll see, um, which we all had our own interpretation. 
course. And then, of course, what resulted was uh, much, much laughter. And that's only just a smidgen of the the laughter that was uh, had that weekend. Uh, and, of course, as I mentioned, Matt was our special guest. And we had to take the obligatory pictures with the beard uh, because Matt's beard is mightily impressive, as his is acoustic knowledge. Uh, so we've, of course, got Levi and Matt, Noah and Matt. And then I, I figured I would save the Tony and Matt picture for the end because it's almost as if we were rest, like like wrestling, like in the WWF or whatever they call it now, the WWE. I don't know what it's called, but I think I, I mean we'd probably be the Beard Brothers. I would think. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. That, <laughs> yeah. that would that would be our uh, wrestling our tag team duo. Name. Yeah, I d- yeah, that's 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 good. <laughs> I did I did notice that uh, Matt, you know Matt's squirrel was not up to snuff you know yeah but that's okay because he pulls off the beard brother yeah wrestling guy. i think it has to do with the squirrels that are in st louis i don't think they move as much as the squirrels out here gotcha so i think that was maybe his interpretation of a squirrel it oh. just was the st st okay. louisian I don't know. squirrel i don't know what that means but okay <laughs> i don't either i have no clue um so as with all Acoustic Tuesdays, usually I share guitar snolls, and I'm just going to take a quick second and say this. Please share your guitar snolls with us. Uh, go to AcousticLife.tv. There's a submit link in the top, and you could submit a picture of your guitar snow. Well, Tony, what is a guitar snow? Well, it's, it's quite easy. In fact, it's just you standing in front of all your guitars, taking a picture and submitting it and sharing it with all of us guitar geeks. But there are three easy steps that you must follow. First and foremost, you have to get a Guitar Arsenal t-shirt. There's a link right underneath the Acoustic Tuesday show. You can go ahead and grab your favorite color, favorite size, bam, you got yourself a Guitar Arsenal shirt. Step one, complete. Step two is to put on that Guitar Arsenal shirt and take a picture with all of your instruments. Include pets, include family members, whatever you want. And then, of course, last but certainly not least, please submit it at AcousticLife.tv. Go to AcousticLife.tv, click Submit, and you'll see right where you can uh, send us your picture of your Guitar Arsenal so you can be featured in an upcoming Acoustic Tuesday show. Now, very quickly, the whole notion behind Acoustic Tuesday, <clears throat> excuse me, is to get guitar geeks to unite. We all need a positive weekly reminder of how awesome guitar is and how much this positivity is necessary on our own unique guitar journey. So please, please, if you haven't done so yet, share Acoustic Tuesday with some of your guitar geek friends. Whether somebody just started or has been playing for a long time, please share Acoustic Tuesday with them. Send them a, a link to your favorite show. Send them uh, a link directly to the website, AcousticLife.tv, and encourage them to check it out and get involved because the more guitar geeks we gather, the more guitar geeks unite, and the more fun we have, and the more positivity is shared. So please, please share the show. And last but certainly not least, one of the things that was amazing about the Acoustic Life Festival was that all of the proceeds went, were donated to Guitars for Vets, nonprofit organization, really sharing the healing power of music and, and just doing good things to actually help guitar geeks unite and do so in a way that, that helps them in their life as well. And it was so cool to see and know that everybody there at the Acoustic Life Festival was a part of that, uh, that organization, a part of furthering the mission of that organization. And don't worry, if you weren't at the Acoustic Life Festival, just by watching Acoustic Tuesday, just by going to AcousticLife.tv and purchasing maybe a, a capo or picks or whatever humidifier, you're actually supporting Guitars for Vets as well because every purchase that's made from AcousticLife.tv all of those proceeds go to Guitars for Vets. And in fact, I've got an awesome report. I'm not going to give you the full amount yet uh, because that's your trivia question and I can't just give the answer away quite yet. But in the month of June, you got to check this out. In the month of June, just from purchases on AcousticLife.tv, $406.47 were donated to Guitars for Vets. And that's pretty awesome. Just by being a guitar geek, grabbing your favorite, you know, picks or, or like I said, your humidifier or what have you. If you get that off of AcousticLife.tv, all those proceeds go to Guitars for Vets. And in the month of June, $406.47 was donated because of you. Because you're watching the show, because you're going to AcousticLife.tv. So thank you. And of course, on behalf of Guitars for Vets, uh, they thank you as well. But that's not all. Okay, so again, Acoustic Life Festival 2018, all the proceeds went to Guitars for Vets. And at one point after the band performances, all of the attendees got on stage. Okay, you have to see this. So I'm going to show you this picture. There's, there's a picture that Noah's putting up right now. And 
all of the attendees were on stage. That's what it looks like when you gather, I don't know, would you say 70 plus guitar oh, geeks, Noah? Oh yeah, definitely 70 plus. Yeah, 70 plus guitar geeks all on the same stage, uh, just, just being guitar geeks all together. And the cool thing was, is that there was a presentation of the donation amount to, to all the guitar geeks that were in attendance, so they, they knew how much was donated from the Acoustic Life Festival. But while we did that, we also did a huge, enormous guitar geek shout out. Over 70 plus guitar geeks saying Guitar Geeks Unite. So actually, let's have a look at that right now. Guitar Geeks Unite! <laughs> Pretty amazing. Pretty darn amazing. In fact, um, one of the loudest, most sincere guitar geek shout outs I've ever, ever heard in my life. So that was just, it was, it was a pinnacle of the weekend to know that not only were we being guitar geeks, not only were we learning, not only were we connecting with other guitar geeks, we were doing this all for a much greater cause to further the mission of Guitars for Vets. And that was just amazing. And that leads me, of course, to your guitar geek trivia question. Just for quick review, here was your guitar geek trivia question. 2018 was the inaugural year for the Acoustic Life Festival. All the proceeds from the festival were donated to the nonprofit organization Guitars for Vets. How much was donated on behalf of all the attendees at the Acoustic Life Festival? 2018. Was it $1,672.43, $4,634.78, $6,056.21, or $10,234.73? Well, if you answered D, $10,234.73, you are absolutely correct. In fact, I've got proof. This is the check that was presented to everybody. I don't know if you can even see the whole thing. Uh, but yep. uh, that's a pretty significant amount of, of money donated to an awesome cause. So uh, let me just let me let me give you a little bit more juice because this is very guitar geeky. The first official year of the Acoustic Life Festival resulted in a ten thousand two hundred thirty four dollar and seventy three cent donation to Guitars for Vets. But that's not all. There were also guitars donated by some attendees, as well as additional monetary donations made aside from ticket purchases. All in all, factoring in guitar donations and additional contributions, roughly $11,000 was donated from guitar geeks who want to help other guitar geeks unite. Now that is one hell of a guitar geek statement. Let me just let me just say that. So huge thanks to each and every one of you guitar geeks for uh, for watching the Acoustic Tuesday show, for sharing the Acoustic Tuesday show, for making purchases from AcousticLife.tv, and of course for those of you who attended the first of many Acoustic Life festivals. A huge thank you. Uh, that is just something that feels good all around. So everybody that's watching Acoustic Tuesday, everybody that came to the fest, everybody that's shared the show, really on behalf. Of, of all of us guitar geeks on behalf of Guitars for Vets, thank you so, so very much. You guys really uh, um, are making a huge impact and that just, as I mentioned, just feels awesome. So cheers to you guys. Um, so that pretty much wraps up this special episode of, of Acoustic Tuesday, this celebration of the Acoustic Life Festival, but we're not quite done. We got to take a sneak peek into next week. So here's what's going to happen next week on Acoustic Tuesday. Episode 50, by the way, Noah. Yeah. Episode 50, we're, we're approaching our year anniversary, yeah. but we're not quite ready to celebrate fully yet. We're waiting for something special to be made. Stand by. Here's what's going to happen next week on Acoustic Tuesday. Next week, you're going to get some tips on how to bust a rut. We're going to look at some deceased ungulates. You're just going to have to tune in for that one. I can't even explain it. <laughs> and uh, you're going to learn about a Canadian luthier making some absolutely glorious finger-style guitars. So don't forget to catch Acoustic Tuesday every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. It airs on YouTube. And again, please share it with your friends. And of course, if you're thinking, well, gosh, Tony, it's not Tuesday, but I need some Acoustic Tuesday in my life, just go to AcousticLife.tv. You can go there to do a deep dive on anything I've ever reviewed on Acoustic Tuesday. There's extra bonus videos. There's extra bonus pictures, write-ups, you name it. And of course, again, any purchase you make from AcousticLife.tv, 100% of those proceeds goes to Guitars for Vets. So that's a pretty awesome cause. So cheers to you, Guitar Geeks. And of course, I'll see you next Tuesday on Acoustic Tuesday. Cheers. <laughs>